Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to upgrade the firmware on an SMRT unit. Let's get started. Upgrading the firmware on an SMRT is relatively easy. First, we will connect to the unit using Ethernet, since only over Ethernet can the firmware on the unit be upgraded. We will click here on this screen and on the screen that shows up we will select the unit that we want to connect to. If uh, we have already used that unit we can select the use last test set and as the software connects to the unit it will verify whether the firmware already installed on the unit is new enough or compatible with the software on the computer. In this case it's telling us that the firmware on the unit is firmware version 4 and that the minimum suggested firmware is version 5.37. Here we can click yes and the software will plus proceed to do the upgrade of the firmware into the SMRT. Here the uh, process actually happens a bit um, slower than we see it right here. I simply accelerated the process a little bit. As the firmware download progresses we will see several messages show up on the uh, yellow ribbon on the top of the screen. At the end of this process, we will be asked to reboot the unit. Uh, there will be a message that shows up here asking us to do that. And we will also hear all the outputs on the unit opening and closing at the same time to indicate that the unit needs to be restarted. In this video, we can see how all the outputs of the unit will start uh, opening and closing together, making that uh, noise indicating that the unit needs to be uh, restarted for the process to continue. After this, we can simply reconnect to the unit and verify that the firmware installed on the unit is the firmware that uh, we were intending to install in the first place. For that, we go to Tools, Display Versions, and uh, we can see it right here. 5.37. In some cases it will be necessary to update the firmware on the unit manually. For that, to update the firmware on SMRT unit, the first thing we need to do is head to the Megas website. We type SMRT on the search here and uh, from the units that show up we simply select one, for example the SMRT46 here. We go to the software tab and uh, when we scroll down, we find the firmware file, in this case version 5.37. We click on download, uh, we will be asked to log in. We can create an account if we don't have it, it's free. You don't need to pay anything for the account. It's simply a, a way of Megger to know who is downloading the, the firmware. Then we go back to software and uh, we can download the, uh, the file then we should find the file and um, uh, since the file is in a, in a compacted uh, format then we need to extract it from there to make it possible for the software to find the, uh, the file when we uh, start the upgrade process. Once we have the file uh, we have to uh, connect to the unit. For that we select it here. We have to use Ethernet as the uh, mode of communication because uh, only via Ethernet or over Ethernet can we connect to the unit and upgrade the firmware. On the window that shows up we select the proper unit. If we have already used that unit we can use it the last test set there. Um, when we connect to the unit we uh, go to tools And on tools, we simply hit uh, update firmware over here on the right. 
when we click update firmware we find the firmware where we put it on the file system and we can uh, start the process. Now the process happens a little bit uh, slower than this. It actually takes between two and three minutes. I simply uh, accelerated it here. After the process is finished the unit will start clicking. Uh, we will be asked to restart the unit and uh, at the end we can connect to the unit and we can verify that the proper firmware version was installed in the unit. We click on display version and the firmware version will show up over here is 5.37 the same one that we downloaded from uh, the Megger's website. This concludes how to update the firmware on an SMRT unit. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.